Go. Hi, I'm Steve Sansweet, and you are at Rancho Obi-Wan. It's the world's largest private Star Wars collection and a little piece of heaven to me. Come on in. I've been collecting Star Wars for more than 35 years. I turned my private collection into a nonprofit museum in Northern California, and now it's open for the public to see. You can go online to www.ranchobiwan.org and see how to do it. Come on along. We've got everything in here from props from some of the films to the original action figures, which are the center of a lot of collections. Some bootleg pieces, original wax sculptures, lots of Japanese items. Things from all over the world, Germany, Hungary, Russia. Now, wouldn't you love a soft Jawa from 1978 in Canada? Of course, Disney has recently uh, decided to purchase Lucasfilm, but as you can see, Lucasfilm and Disney have worked together for years on lots of fun mashup products. Does anybody need a cast? This was on the foot of a stuntman from Return of the Jedi. He had a uh, slight accident, but kept it all these years because of... Autographs from Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and a whole lot of others. What we do here is have a lot of fun. The Rancho Obi-Wan experience consists of a two to three hour walkthrough by me and sharing a lot of my stories and tales about how some of these objects came about, what they are, some really funny tales behind them. Um, you never know what you're getting. How it's... Hello, uh, President Obama. I didn't know you were a Jedi. Bootleg from China. I love fan-made stuff. Uh, here we have a gift from a fan in Mexico who sculpted a Chewbacca on a Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> you never know. How big is the collection, approximately? Uh, the collection consists of about, we think, around 300,000 different pieces. Right now we have about 95,000 of them inventoried, and uh, we're still working on it. But the problem is new things come in every day. And the collection includes not just the pieces we've been seeing, but also all kinds of printed materials and so forth? The collection includes lots of printed materials, starting back from the, the first screening ticket for Star Wars when I saw it two weeks before it opened on the back lot of 20th Century Fox. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff that uh, are, are true treasures and tell the history of Star Wars and how Star Wars became such a huge part of the worldwide popular culture. And, you know, one of these days I'll eventually get time to look uh, through it, but um, things keep me a little busy, both here at the museum, uh, being an advisor to Lucasfilm for fan relations, and also writing Star Wars books. I've written 16 so far. Meet R2 Mr. T2 from the Conan O'Brien show in 2009. It was meant to uh, bring a chuckle to George Lucas when he was a guest, and it sure did. And there we have the original marquee letters from the Lowe's Orpheum Theater in New York City on opening day, still preserved. And that's what a lot of fans and collectors do, is help preserve a little piece of Star Wars history. And this is right here. The Darth Vader Lego was uh, one of three made for sale by Lego at FAO Schwartz. And um, uh, the one that I got, uh, the first two were purchased by Joey Fatone of NSYNC and the other by Michael Jackson. And these are lots of replicas of lightsabers made by Lucasfilm licensees. Some truly wonderful pieces. Right. So if somebody wanted to come and visit Rancho Obi-Wan, what would they have to do? In order to visit Rancho Obi-Wan, you just need to go online uh, at uh, ranchoobiwan.org, and we have all the instructions. We book tours, and you just need to send uh, your information. Uh, uh, there's a calendar on there on available dates, 
and we can hook you up uh, very easily. And we have had tourists from all over the world and look forward to seeing a lot more. All right, thank you.